All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikah Kodash. Dub honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. Let's prophesy in this truth and doing the commandment. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai commanded us as uh, servants of his to do in these latter times. So, uh, uh, this is uh, redacted news. Uh, and they had some uh, pretty good information that's going into um, what's, what's to come, the, the future of uh, uh, Esau's uh, New World Order. Okay? So Esau has uh, has got big, you know, we know, big plans up his sleeve. and uh, But the Lord has uh, said that he's going to, uh, uh, how does the scripture go, disappoint the devices of the crafty, you know? And who is that speaking of? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, okay? And it's a beautiful thing, and... Uh, so, with this video here, it's about 17 minutes long. Uh, I'm not going to go all into it, but, you know, it's, you know, what, you know, our elder apostles had, uh, you know, taught us from, from the beginning. And it's been teaching from the beginning that it was going to eventually come to this. And uh, so, Esau Edom is, uh, you know, he's making his, his rounds. You know, or uh, 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 making his promises, or uh, trying to make his promises to come to fruition. So, uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna wind this and uh, let you hear it, and I'll uh, we'll come back. Let's we, talk about the United Nations. We'll probably interject, you know, from here to there, you know, uh, uh, between different uh, segments of this uh, short video, and come back with some precepts. Uh, uh, you know, to uh, edify the flock. Lord willing, it's edifying. Let's talk about the United Nations. So the United Nations planning to criminalize spreading uh, misinformation that causes social disorder and hatred. So this is the report that comes to us from Natalie Winters over at the War Room. That's done. She's doing some great work. Here's the headline. United. So you can see it starts off pretty you know, uh, straight into the point. So, you know, this is, uh, you know, I believe that's the EU flag, if I'm not uh, mistaken, uh, which is, you know, part of that, you know, the beast, you know, NATO and EU. Uh, you know, uh, this is the beast that, you know, the whore ride upon. Uh, I believe that's uh, Revelation 7, 10, and uh, maybe 15 on down, you know, it speaks about it uh, a few times in the book of Revelation. And the beast is NATO and EU. Okay. Uh, well, how's it go? The seven, seven horns. Uh, okay. It, uh, how's the scripture go? Uh, let's see if I can grab it. Uh, was Revelation 17, the one, uh, one scripture I'm talking about, uh, I'm referring to. It says, uh, it says, I'm going to read it from here. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, and verse 16. It says, In the ten horns which I saw it upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, okay, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Okay, uh, EU. Okay, uh, NATO and EU, or however you want to put it, because uh, the uh, seven horns uh, are all Edomite uh, 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 kingdoms. Okay, and let's read verse 17. It says, For the Most High had put in their hearts to fulfill his. Uh, fulfill his will. Okay, so the Lord is going to put the spirit on these Edomite uh, kingdoms to fight against each other, or really fight, or, or, or get to uh, mount up together to fight against 
okay, the whore that ride upon the beast, which is America, okay? It says, uh, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the word of the Most High shall be fulfilled, okay? So, you know, that's that's the point that, you know, we are, we're at now in this story, okay? So, you know, before, you know, now the beast system is, you know, not at odds yet, but, you know, you can, you can pretty much know and understand through the spirit that, you know, there's some feathers getting ruffled, which they have always been ruffled, you know, in the past, but the Lord is, uh, you know, mustering up the host uh, for the battle. Okay, let's let it read on. Let's let it play on. Nation is playing the criminalized spreading misinformation that causes social disorder and hatred. And so she writes, the United Nations has launched a new initiative to counter the use of information and communications technologies for criminal purposes, which appears to apply to individuals who share misinformation. So private companies, including social media platforms like Facebook's parent company Meta, are also involved in this venture. Draft versions of this new convention reveal the United Nations may criminalize posts that promote, quote, hatred. What, what does that mean, by the way? Including ideological and political hatred. In addition to another vague term that's in this document, extremism. What does it mean to be extreme, like speaking out against, uh, f you know, forced vaccine mandates? Is like extreme? wearing spandex and bike helmets on a normal bike ride? And that's... <laughs> Is that extreme? See, uh, and these, you know, these are Edomites, uh, you know, seem to be Edomites, you know, I, uh, you know, through the spirit, I'm, I'm feeling that they're Edomites, but, you know. Uh, the scriptures tell you that they were going to make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. Okay. And also there should be Egyptian against Egyptian. Okay. Uh, let's get uh, uh, Psalm 64. Because this is what we're uh, witnessing at this point. Okay. Uh, How is it? Is it? 64 and uh, there we go. Okay, let's, let's start right here. This is six, Psalm 64 and 7. It says, but the most high shall shoot at them with an arrow and suddenly they shall be wounded. Okay, so this is what you're seeing now. The Lord has allowed uh, this shot to be shot off and this arrow is this uh, truth coming out. Okay, this truth is coming out and the elites are, are being wounded, man. You know, because the uh our apostle, you know, uh, uh ordered us to, you know, uh, uh bring out videos on this uh on these on these devils daily, man. So they're feeling it, man. They feeling the arrows. <laughs> okay? They feeling the arrows, man. Okay? These people be fire. Uh, or the words of Yahweh by Shimei Abshah is fire. And these people are wood, man. Okay, they're starting to feel the heat. Okay, let's read it again. Psalm 64 and 7, it says, But the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded. And that's where we are now, man. They wounded, man. Okay, verse 8. So they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. All, they, all that see them shall flee away. Okay. And, and that's what's going to eventually happen, man. You're going to, you know, uh, uh, have these uh, different nations of people that, that's not going to want to deal with this devil anymore, man. Okay? Because of, uh, you know, a lot of contention that's going on. And, and you know, they're trying to, they trying to cut off, like, with, 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 uh, with Russia, they won't, you know, all NATO... In, uh, EU countries or whatever to not to deal with Russia you know to cut off their business uh, ventures with them but you know but America's still doing business with Russia man 
Okay, I think they're uh, still buying uh, lithium, uh, lithium from uh, Russia. Okay, I mean these things are starting to come out, man. That's why uh, uh, these nations are gonna flee away from this horror, man, because you know they tell all other nations what to do, but or you know, but they're not, you know, uh, 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 doing what they want them to do. Well, they. Do, you know, they're telling them to uh, uh, cut off business with Russia, but they still doing business with Russia. Okay? Imagine that. Those, uh, you know, I mean, what what is extremism? Well, who's, it's all subjective. They're all subjective words. And that's the, what's extreme to you is not extreme to me. Yeah, and, see, because ultimately, you know, they're they, they trying to... Uh, uh, you know, ultimately, the ultimate uh, 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 issue is the, you know, the servants of the Lord. The Israelites are coming out and, and, and demonizing the demon. <laughs> okay? He's condemning the devil, the so-called white man. You know, beginning with the central bankers, man. Okay? See, the Lord judges nations as a whole. And a, a lot of these Christian churches don't understand how to read the scriptures, man. They thinking that you're talking about one person. They say your enemy. They thinking and talking about, you know, the scripture is talking about your next door neighbor that, you know, that uh, pisses on your, uh, let this dog piss and shit on your lawn. Okay. It's bigger than that, man. It's bigger than that. So with this new uh, 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 law they trying to come out with, which is unrighteous decree. They're trying to, uh, is a, ultimately, it's going to have a famine of the word. Okay. Let's get Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1, man. Okay. Because these, these are unrighteous decrees. But, you know, hey, we with it. You know, because, hey, the Lord is about to checkmate this devil. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, Assyria is... The most highest instrument, yeah, which is the so-called white man, the Edomites. You know, he's a modern-day Assyrian. You know, the, uh, uh, the the Assyrians is the the rod in the Lord's hand. Uh, I believe I'm uh, quoting it right. Uh, uh, for his, uh, the wrath of his anger, something to that extent. I can uh, pull it up again, but. Let's go and read this. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Warn to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay? And these are unrighteous decrees, these different laws that are coming out, you know, and uh, everybody, well, starting with uh, Clay Morris and his uh, co-host here uh, on uh, Redacted uh, News and... Uh, you know, the, and, and this is how America feels as a whole, because they know that these other Edomites that's ruling the countries are making these different laws that are unrighteous. They are unrighteous decrees. These are laws that, that are unrighteous. So let's look up uh, uh, the word decrees, unrighteous decrees. <clears throat> okay. Let's look, look up unto them decree. Well, let me see. Let's see. Uh, un unrighteous decrees. Okay. Okay. Kahaki. If I'm saying that right. Strong's H twenty seven eleven. Hey kick. Hey Decree, resolve, statutes, action, prescribed, uh, an enactment, a resolution. Yeah. <clears throat> and they un unrighteous resolutions uh <clears throat> let's look up resolutions here uh intention yeah motion uh a firm decision to do or not to do something yeah it's a yeah it's actually a firm decision that they're gonna make okay but yeah man these devils uh they hurt man the Lord tell you he was going to shoot at them with an arrow. And that the arrow is the servants of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Okay. <clears throat> Let's read that again. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Woe to them that 
woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed it says uh, to to turn aside the needy okay from uh, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that uh, widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, what's the, yeah, here we go. Uh, let's jump down to five. This is uh, the scripture I quoted. Isaiah 10 and 5. It says, Oh, Assyrian, which is the so-called white man. This is the modern day Assyrian. It says, The rod of my anger. Okay. So the Lord is using this devil. You know, portray it to 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 put or, or to instill his anger on two thirds of our people. OK, which is in the staff in their hand is my indignation. OK. Going into their laws, man. OK. And it's actually going to be a physical thing, too, also. So uh, let's uh, see what else they got to say. And of course, then they get away with this because once if they have this draft resolution, it. It, it can ruin someone's life. For, forget whether or not this ends up like going to a Supreme Court in any way. It doesn't matter because once they've labeled you this way, you lose your livelihood. Like we've seen in the United States without having any criminal record or criminal charges brought against somebody, their lives have been ruined because, you know, they've been they've been called extremist. They've been called um I don't know, politically extreme, so they've had their PayPal accounts shut down, Venmo accounts shut down, they've been debanked. For what? For their political views? That's exactly what's happening, right? I mean, we... Yeah, see, and the same thing will happen with Kanye West, if that was true or not. You know, that's something that we can't, you know, say yay or nay to, because, you know, we ain't there to see what, you know, what his transaction or his bank statement says. Okay, let's get one more precept and, precept and we'll shut it down. I think that should be it. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 49, verse uh, verse 10. It says, but I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. You know, the Lord has uh, allowed his own people to uh, figure this devil out. And, you know, it... it the points are coming from all sides on this devil, man. The Lord said he shall stand up. He's going to make him stand up. Okay? You know, it's going to get worse with these arrows the Lord is shooting at this devil. Okay? You can see him now. He's kind of sitting down, you know, on this little, his, his, his fiery throne, you know, which is uh, all carnal for, you know, the true men of the Lord because, uh, we know his demise, what his demise is going to be. Okay. It says, I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. Okay. Imagine that. I believe through the spirit that the day is going to come. The Lord is going to allow this devil to, you know, uh, see uh, people are going to know his true nationality. I believe it, man. And I have said that before that I believe this devil is going to come all the way out, man. When, uh, everybody figure out this who this devil is man when all the people know this his true nationality is uh he's an edomite you know then he's gonna come out and, you know i mean it could be something else but i speak as a man you know it says that he shall not be able to hide himself his seed is spoil his brethren and his neighbors and he is not okay so the lord is gonna get it make it to a way that he's gonna Destroy this devil, man. He gonna uh, he he gonna knock him off his throne, man. You see? Yeah. So uh, I believe that's it. Uh, let's get one more. One more, and we're gonna shut it down. Let's go to Job five. I believe that should be it, man. That's Job chapter five. The Lord says he's gonna disappoint the the uh, the devices of the crafty, and that's Esau Edom. Okay, uh, which one is it? Uh, uh, the, uh, yeah, here we 
ago. And Job chapter 5 and verse 12, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands could not perform their enterprise. You see, this devil got a lot to say and a lot of things to do, man. Just play this for him, man, you know. He, and the Lord tells you, man, he's going to, you know, uh, 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 while he's eating, he's going to get him, man. Okay? Uh, 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 I got to get that one. Uh, it's, a, it's Job Salaki. Is it 20? Or is it 22? Let's try 20. Uh... Uh, I remember I used to read this one all the time. Uh, let's uh, you know what? Let's uh, okay. Let's start here. This is Job chapter twenty, verse eleven. It says, "His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in his in the dust." Okay, meaning that the Lord is going to bring him down to his original state. The wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. And he ain't hiding it no more. <laughs> you know? You know, with this uh, new law, they say it's supposed to be in, uh, uh, coming to pass in uh, the year uh, 2024, I believe. Okay? It says, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth, yet his meat and his bowels are turned. It is the gall of ass within him. He had swallowed down riches. And the Lord said, what? He shall make him vomit. He shall. And he shall vomit them up again. The most high shall cast them out of his belly. Okay. He says he, he shall. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's jump down to. Uh, okay. Ooh. Well, let's just, let's just keep reading, Salaki. Verse 16, he says, He shall suck the poison of asp. The viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter, that which he labor for, uh, that which he labor for, shall he restore and shall not swallow it down. Okay, and that's the new world order. You know, you know, his, you know, his uh, NWO. Uh, not, his, not the NWO, but, uh, you know, his uh, new world order. Okay. It said, according to his substance, shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein. Okay. And this is what it's all about, man. Okay. Now he's trying to, you know, uh, you know, grab all people together one, as, you know, in one as you know different speeches that people use uh uh calling uh people extremists you know he can be labeled an, as an extremist of wickedness you see but we we here that's in this truth we are extremists of the truth man of righteousness okay so it's one against another man uh uh, uh wicked against the righteous and the righteous against the wicked Okay, verse 19, because he have oppressed and forsaken the poor, because he have violently taken a house which he built not. And the poor is the Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Verse 20, surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save that which he desired. Therefore, none of his meat shall be left. Therefore, shall no man look for his goods. And the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits, and the straits is a, a difficult time. Okay? It says, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And I believe that word wicked is not going into, you know, Esau, Edom. That word is, uh, how, how does it pronounce it? It's uh, lob, I believe. Let's, let's, let's read it. Let's, let's look it up. And we're going to go ahead and edit it in just a second. Uh, wicked is, uh, Amal. Strong's H6001. Amal. Amal. Okay, so the outline of the biblical use is uh, laborer, see? Sufferer, wretched one. Okay, workman. 
Okay, and that's us, man. You see? Yeah, that's us. Okay, let's uh and and straights. Let's look up straights. Okay, y'all tars. Straights is to to bind, to be distressed, uh, be in distress, be cramped, be narrow, be scant, be in straits, make a narrow cause distress, beseech, to suffer, distress. Okay. So this devil going to be in a, a stressful time to be, she's going to be vexed. You see? Okay. This one last scripture, I, I believe, uh, verse that I'm reading is, I believe, 20. Uh, it says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him when he's about to fill his belly. And that's the new world order. It says, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and he shall rain it upon him while he's eating. Okay? <laughs> but yeah, man, so that's it, man. You know, we uh, we got a lot to look forward to in this year, 2023. The hopeful year of our prophecy to come to pass. And you know, hey, what a beautiful time we in. You know, we all praying, you know, for... Uh, to be, you know, part of that number. What number? The part of the, the number of the elect. We'll say, okay, so we we, we want to give all praises and honor to you. How about Shem Abishai, Baha Shem, Rikar Kwadash, the honesty of the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. Uh, and uh, Shalom to the whole for elect. And uh, we like to say, uh, uh, remember, remember mercy, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, in your time of wrath. Shalom.